us. The grid is clearly rusted shut. It won't be able to open. Wait, can we do something about that red thing? Uh, yes, but we shouldn't. Because it's special. See, he totally knows what he's doing. Perhaps. Perhaps. Maybe. A little bit. Partially. Yeah, I don't want to fool you. Uh, maybe. It's only blind for me. Uh, I, I don't know. Perhaps. <laughs> You've played this like 50 times, haven't you? 50 times? Oh, it's You seem to have startled the white stag. Oh no, come back, friendly stag. We won't hurt you. Home. Beautiful white stag is foraging for food. It's cast the home spell. Yeah. Oh. Suddenly a feeling of peace and tranquility permeates the area. Hi there. Uh, apparently it just let me get closer to me. Still didn't want to talk. Come back! You want to be your friends! Can you touch it? I'm trying. I think we got him cornered now. You follow the stag into this forest corner. You also have the eyes of the forest are watching you. You watch the stag, fascinated with its grace and beauty. There's something special about this place. Just the white stag is an outstanding example of the beauty of the animal. That was nice. Ah! The tree woman speaks. I am the dryad, keeper of the woods. Are you one with the woods? Oh, sure. Then you shall aid me, and I shall aid you in your quest. Bring me a seed from the spore-spitting spiria of the north, and I may plant it elsewhere in order to preserve these rare and magical Thus you will become a true friend of the forest. Okay, if you say so there, lady. Hey, do you want to talk to us, Mr. Stag? Get no response. Ah, I don't buy it. Oh, do we? I think you should talk. So apparently there's a spore spinning spiria to the north. Shall we go north? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, that is what she asked for. So that's pretty lady. Oh, this looks neat. It's a ring formed of large, rather unusual looking mushrooms. I used to be a member of a famous rock group, but it decided to split the scene. Hm. The trees look more vibrant than most of the forest. There's a ring of mushrooms in the center of the clearing. Well, I think this is probably a good time to save. Lucky's got shrooms! Lucky's getting high. <laughs> Let's check it out. You pick a handful of smaller mushrooms and carefully put them away in your pack. Hey, we got points. You pick a handful of smaller mushrooms and carefully put them away in your pack. Alright, now, so now we have two sets of mushrooms, am I right? Six mushrooms. Alright, let's eat. Oh, well, just a few of the mushrooms from the fairy ring. They taste delicious. Whoa! Whoa. Lucky totally gets yeah. crazy colors, oh man! Wow, look at all those nice paisley horses! Yeah. Woo! Our senses gradually return to normal. Oh, that doesn't look normal to me. Oh, that was interesting. Probably mean I'm not a good idea to repeat the experience. <laughs> oh, you only get to get high once. Yeah, apparently. Wait, you're doing it again? We still have six mushrooms. It's magic. Yeah. We ate a magic mushroom and it didn't actually go away. Yeah, let's chomp down another. Yay, they taste delicious. Kill you or something like you do. I don't know, I want to find out. Oh, man! Easily horses! Woo! Why aren't fairies getting angry with the Oh, there you go. Where did all the pretty horses go? That's funny. I could have sworn I warned you about eating too many magic mushrooms. Mine permanently warped. You die a garishly polka dotted death. <laughs> well, damn. Oh well. You only get to get high once. Man, what a rip. So she said to the north, so maybe over this way. You know exactly where you're going. Not necessarily. Uh -huh, don't buy it, everybody. It's been a long time. Don't buy it. Long time. He knows where he's going. Shush you. I'm okay with you knowing where you're going. Oh, what? Uh, Are you um, still high? What? 
there seems to be an abundant supply of pur blue and purple meeps. Only they still stood for a moment to be able to count them. I never realized there was more than one green meep at any one time. Oh. No one's talking. Hi! Hi guys! Hello! You hear squeaky muttering from beneath the ground. It seems the meeps are having quite a discussion about you. Hiya, hiya! Pleased to meet ya! Hi there, Mr. Meep. So you're a meep, then? We are happy meeps, living in our happy holes. Don't worry, be happy! I think you're still high. I think so, too. So, do you like rocks? We use rocks for doors! They keep us dry and warm in our holes. In holes, eh? We like living tunnels under the ground, you know. But you need to be more stonery. So what about your fur? Hey, like fur is good stuff. Keeps us warm, dude. Mine's the best. It's like green, you know. Yeah. Green fur? Oh, you want some green fur? I think I have some somewhere. Eh. That's nice. So what about the brigands? Gee, boss, I really don't much enough to chat that at all. Hey, sorry. Anything about magic? I found a scroll lying around in the woods one day. You want it? It's yours. Oh, thanks. You guys are so helpful for no reason. They're cute, too. It's because you're You realize stone. you have never seen more than one green leaf at a time. Perhaps there is only one. If I would stay still for Bill, you'd be able to count the What does it say in the third part? The meat's a brightly colored, soft looking fur. Well, oh, I guess he didn't want to talk anymore. Whatever. Let's check out this stuff. Pick up the scroll scroll. As the magical runes fade, you find you now know how to cast the detect magic spell. Mm. Ooh! I like magic detection. Pick up the green fur. You guys want to talk anymore or what? You can be friends. <laughs> well, you quickly step out of the way. I don't think it'll be a better one. Hiya, nice to see you again. So, are you guys doing all right? Yep, you're living in your happy holes. I, I suppose that's it. Hmm. You have a good day, everybody. Try to take magic. Okay. It really only works if there's magic in the area. Though. Well, they seem to pretty magical. I don't know. They might seem rude just to cast that face. Hmm. Detect magic. So some magic in this area. Well. So here, so we're not definitely not spore spitting spurious. What is this? They're in the Goblin Central Combat Training Zone. Hmm. I wonder where all the goblins are coming from, but don't worry about it. It's just one of those little unsolved mysteries of the universe. Hmm. Wait a minute. That's one strange bush. Hi there, goblins. You buy a lot. I'm sure it's safe. There's clearly nothing going on here. Fire bullet! That's fine if you want to be mean about it. Well, you don't gone. have enough magic points to cast that spell. Hi there, Bush. The goblin steps out of the bush. The goblin has a mean look in his eyes. You prepare for battle. Hey, why can't we just be friends? I think we just talk to you. I don't know. No one wants to talk to us. They just want to kill us wherever we go. So I'm just going to kill them first by disturbing them a whole bunch. Right, apparently the one in the bush did not put Damn! Stab you good! Aha! Wow, you threw that dead goblin a long way! You find five silvers concealed in the pouch. Take the silver. Take hmm. that, goblins. The rest of them just run away? Apparently. Well, there's nothing over here. Uh oh. No, it's like one. Looking around, you get the feeling this is not a very friendly place to be. Baba Yaga does not welcome strangers. You have to deal with me before you can enter. Baba Yaga is one tough magic user. If you are so stupid that you want to enter, perhaps we can make a deal. Uh. uh -oh. Large skull on the gate seems to stare vacantly at you. The skulls on top of the fence have eerily glowing eyes. The large skull on the fence seems to stare blankly at you. But it's a strange little house perched on chicken legs. I'm gonna be real. She's definitely not the person we're looking for here. 
No, most definitely not. Oh man, you're into a brigand. Uh oh. Uh, I doubt it. They always stick to the plot. I'm not gonna waste all my stamina trying to take this one brigand out. Screw you, really I'm running away. <laughs> Somehow. Yeah. That way. Well, at least we know where Bobby you got his hut is now. Yeah. Let's try going up this way. Nope. Doesn't lead anywhere useful. We're still looking for those four spitting spurias. That's very hard to say. Oh, I think we found them. Yeah, I think I've never seen anything quite like them. They're pretty in a grotesque way. South end, they are spitting what seems to be some kind of seed. Far from what you can, the north and west are steep cliffs. There are some pretty unusual plants. They're spitting what seems to be some kind of seed. So, the vegetable? I guess we could try that we if we have enough magic that? points. We don't have enough magic points. Then screw that! It's a potion. <laughs> well, it burns as it goes down. Alright, let's fetch it. Get into a good position. Yeah. You lose concentration and the spell fades. You will have to practice some. Alright, well, let's get practicing. Magic! Aw. Uh, very good at magic. We already don't we already don't have enough magic points to cast a freaking spell. We only cast it twice. Apparently um, it costs five magic points to cast. Cliff walls are very steep and they look difficult to climb. Look for an appropriate place to climb. Screw this. We've got another trick. There's no need to take the flower. Yeah, I got a trick. Right over here, Bubsy. Let's put it this way. We can wait all day. Got it! Put the sea on your pack and climb down. Hmm. Oh, they opened up. Oh, what are they looking I don't know. But they had to dry up one of the seeds, so that's what we got. Should give them the rocks? You have one spurious seed that weighs one pound. That's interesting. You should probably stop running around all over the place for absolutely no reason. Hmm. That's a bit silly. And I think we're just near Irana's garden of all places. Oh man, there's another goblin chasing us. Can we actually do something with it? Like maybe bomb it down? Probably. Yeah. I don't have enough magic to do anything. We've got magic phobia. Not skilled in the ways of magic. I don't know. Of magic. Oh, I'm gonna stab you, boog! Have you not? <laughs> there we go. Hey, we got him. Dun 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 dun. Search your opponent. You find eight silver coins. Oh, nice. Wow, he Wait, was welcome. Wait, is it the Let's actually go to the healers because we collected a bunch of stuff for her, didn't we? Uh, she said she was always looking for weird alchemical ingredients. Oh, the mushrooms. And the fur, and all okay. kinds of other weird stuff. So we might as well. Okay. And there's still goblins stalking us. So Such many goblins. Wolves and deep us alone. Come here, buddy. Hey, Mr. Centaur. I already talked to you, so you don't really have anything new to say. He doesn't have to say. I think so. Let's go talk to the healer. Hey, Miss Healer Lady. Can I come do your stuff? No, that was totally in another universe. Oh, sorry. I forgot that was me. My bad, everybody. I don't know what you said. What can I do for you this time? Hey, we've got weird stuff for you. How about some green fur? I like weird stuff. Thank you. I'll save this for later use. Awesome. Alright, what about flowers? You like flowers, right? Thank you. I can always use flowers for Rana's piece of potion making. Here are your silvers. Oh, thank you. One yeah. more? Aww. Thank you. I can always... No, you should give them to the pretty centaur girl. Uh, that might not be a good idea. Why? Want some magic mushrooms? 
These are very nice. I'll try them and grind them into a powder. Oh yeah. You want more? We do have a lot of mushrooms. Okay, she has mushrooms. The uh, water. Yeah, she wants the water. Thank you for the offer, but I really don't need any water. That's weird. You do need the flying water, though. I don't know. Oh well. Is there anything else weird that we have? What's this? I don't know what it is. I don't know what this is in my inventory, oh my gosh. A piece of paper. A piece of paper. Okay. Uh, that's a rare gem that's for us. We have 50 potion bottles. We have four in class. How much each of these? I'll give her a couple of them. She refills them. Thank you, I always do class. I'm taking my line. <laughs> Don't you need to buy more potions anyway? I suppose we could. You still have plenty of money. Let's buy... We seem to run out of mana points a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, we should get this undead engine, just in case. I hope this will help you. Stop it! <laughs> Those are my lines! <laughs> well, then you have to be a little bit faster now, don't I you? <laughs> yeah, because you gave me, like, all, like, 0.2 seconds. I hope this will help you. Oh. <laughs> How about one of these? I hope this will help you. All right. That's good. All right. Good. Okay. So. Did you get a healing potion? We spent a bunch of money. Uh, we're not really going to go. We already have one spare. Oh. We're good. Now we have an undead ungent. Get a sick bird. Bird, not the bird. Yep. Anything but the bird! Hey, it's Bruno! He'll stab you in the face. He'll stab you in the face. It's that much of a dick. We should go back to the dry end now that we have the special spear you see. Yeah! What do you think of that? Okay. Da na 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 na! Do we have any magic? Detect magic. Who says the magic is here? No magic at all. What is she? If you bring her different things, can she make new potions? Yeah, I think we actually brought her everything we needed to make it in dead magic. How about we bought that? No, I don't. Actually, we were able to buy it because we brought her a bunch of white and stuff. Oh, okay. Oh boy, it's the white stag again. Hi, white stag. Hello! Oh, apparently he lets us get closer this time. But he still runs away! Maybe he'll be your friend. Be I'm our friend, friend, White Stag! Again, you feel a sense of closeness with nature. What a beautiful animal. You brought the seed I requested? Yes! You drop the seed into the dry as limbs. Now this will boldly grow where none has grown before. <laughs> heed now my words, friend of the forest, and heed them well. Friend, you must know that there is an evil in this valley which perverts the ways of nature. The prophecy says that a hero will bring a young human from out of this darkness. If you are the one to accomplish this task, there is a potion to break enchantments which the hero can make for you. You must gather these ingredients. Flowers from around this piece. Check. Green fur. Check. Fairy dust. Not yet. A ma magic acorn. Not yet. And flying water. Hey, we got that. So all we need is fairy dust and a magic acorn. Farewell, friend. I must return to my concentration. May the forest forever surround you. Well, that's creepy. You see an acorn fall slowly to the ground. Yeah, I figured you'd get that. There is a large, slightly glowing acorn on the ground. Pick up the dried gift of a magic acorn! 
Whoa, so oh my gosh. Us. So, riding those shrooms doesn't look good at us? No, it doesn't. Uh, just get you stoned. That's right. It's feeling fine, baby. Yeah, Midday on day three, there's still plenty of adventuring to go. But I have a pretty good idea that uh, where we might be able to get that fairy dust. I have something to do with those mushrooms. Problem is, you gotta go there during a special time. Mm. Lucky's getting stuff. Mm. And then I guess. <laughs> exactly. I was gonna save the kingdom. Then I got hot. Oh! Oh! By golly, it's an antwerp! Antwerps are on the endangered species list. They're rarely seen. You get no response. Gotcha. You greatly attack the bouncing beast with your bare hands. This. Find a keyhole concealed in the crack in the rock. We don't have a key, but we do have a lock pick. Lock is beyond your present skill. It might help if you have a key. Practice. Does it actually show us getting better at it by practicing all this? Yes, it does. However, we are getting quite tired. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Oh well, we can always come back here later. So, there, Mr. Crazy Bouncing Mushroom Man. No, I don't know. Oh, we're gonna get you! We're gonna get you yet! Yeah. Whoa, he checked us! Whoa! Whoa! Is he actually hurting us? He is hurting us! <laughs> That's not good. Oh, uh, but we got tougher at least. Alright, let's, let's take this sucker out. Come on, let's go. Luckily, you loosen up to fight. Yeah, you go. We're gonna do it. Yeah! Alright! I already hurt them. We can take him. Confident and loose, you approach the Emperor. <laughs> you have to click your dagger just at the right time. Just wait for it. I think you actually have to go to another screen first. Keep your dagger at the ready. I have it. Here we go. Oh, uh, no, I screwed up. <laughs> Obviously in no shape to continue this game. <laughs> Oh, come on, man. You think you're going to take us on? We can take you out, you crazy antwerp. Just have to click you properly when you're coming down to kill us. Man, he is really bouncy. Is that supposed to be like his... What is inside him there? I think it's intestines. I think it is his digestion. can do it. We can get him. We just gotta time our attack right for when he's coming down on us. You know you're coming. I think you just come. You seem to have caused an antwerp population explosion. <laughs> Catch them? Bouncing baby antwerps are all so cute, you can't bring yourself to interfere with their play. That's probably better than me. You can't, like, pull any pocket? Put everything else in the pocket? Yeah, that would be funny. I don't think their bag there went to go. I think they bounce off. Yeah. That's actually mentioned in later games in this series that, you know, some hero came through the valley and caused an antwerp population explosion. Yeah. Now there are antwerps everywhere. Yeah, that was us.
that was that was all of us. Hmm. Do you have to? Can you leave him? Well, it's completely optional. Oh, okay. It doesn't give you any points or anything. It's just one of those little Easter eggs in the game. Hmm. Oh god, I'm being attacked by another. No way! I don't want to be your friend. I want to run from you. Which way are you? Are you over that way? Can we figure it out? I want to go. I want to go east. This guy won't let me. We can fake him out if he chases us over this way. Or maybe he just can't even come this way. Because it's a special screen. A screen where enemies dare not. Play. I don't think you need to keep running. You know what? Considering how much we get chased, I'm gonna keep running. I feel safe here. Does it decrease your stamina? Slowly. Okay. Let's go over this way, see what's going on. This place seems nice. What's that? You have Where a bad feeling about go? this place. Uh oh. You have an even worse feeling about this place. Hi, so, hey, everybody! Yet another friggin' archer. This one is wearing his archery merit badge. Uh oh. Urban Archer, from what you can see, you realize that you are in a very dangerous situation. These guys don't overkill when they see it. Sulu Warrior, perhaps a refugee from Quest of Glory 3, the Wages <laughs> of War? A Brigham Ground Fighter. Another Brigham Archer. These guys shoot it all well. You soon will be impeccably dressed in your arrow shirt. One bad dude. We get no response. Apparently they don't want to talk to us. Cliffs are rocky and riddled with niches that can conceal things. Brigand Archers, for instance. There's a pile of logs off to the northwest. Looks like the brigands have prepared a welcoming committee for you behind the logs. Well, damn. Guess we're not going this way. Nope. I think we found where the brigands are. Problem is that frontal approach doesn't seem particularly effective. <laughs> hmm. We might have to come up with a new game plan. Or just run into a brigand while we're trying to run out of here. Woo! That works too. Aha! Well, we have a clever tactic that you would never expect. Run away! Woo! Run for our lives! Run right into your face! I'm not so good at running away. No, we definitely need practice with that. Practice in practically everything that we're doing, actually. <laughs> we are bad at everything. Wait, where are you? Okay, run around. No, no, no! Damn it! Oh! Why? We won't get away yet. Just you wait and see. I'll never get back in the middle of the screen. Maybe I can trick him. With a calm spell. Oh. No. Where did I get my magic? Oh, is all the magic. It slowly recovers. Oh. See, yeah, we're kind of, kind of waiting until nightfall at this point. Mid afternoon on day three. Hmm. Well, it actually might make sense right now to just take it down. After 60 minutes rest, you feel better. That's helpful. Yay! Alright, we got there. Our magic skill's gone up. Block picking has gone up. Vitality's gone up. That's good! So, what time is it? Mid afternoon. Alright, still 60 minutes rest, we're feeling even better. Sunset approaches on day three. <laughs> we are feeling a lot better, and wow, most of our magic is actually back. It's good. Yay, we so need Let's magic. see if the fairies are actually in the room yet. No, no, they're not. But we could practice our spells. The question is, what is the most efficient way to practice? That costs two magic points. That costs two. That costs three. That costs four. These posts cost five. So it's basically casting the open spell and detect magic, which seems to be the best way to practice. It said